Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to capture your game without capturing your backgrounds, other screens, or your desktop. But before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First thing that we need to do is open Streamlabs or OBS and have it running. In this example, I'll be adding two things in the sources, an image and a game capture. Okay, so all we need to do is go over here to the source, click the plus button, and we're gonna find an image first Add the source. Okay, once you add your image, browse your sources and add the image that you desire. I just made something on my desktop here, so I'm gonna go to the desktop and use something shilly for myself. Okay, make sure that it's fit to screen so it's the right size. Next, we're going to need to start the game that you want to capture. In this example, I'm using Minecraft. Load the game up. You'll need to do this for the game to show up in Game Capture Source. So load up your Minecraft, click play. Okay, then come back in here and click the plus sign again. And this time we're going to find Game Capture. This is the one you want to use if you don't want your nasty background to be showing up. If you don't want your desktop over here, all your icons showing up, you need to use game capture. We're going to add source. We're going to just leave it as game capture. And it found Minecraft automatically. I don't want to do that. You can if you want to, but there's other options down here. You can auto capture any full screen app application, capture specific window or capture foreground window with hotkeys. I want to capture a specific window. Then I want to make sure that my Minecraft is selected. I find this here way better than using auto. So if you leave Minecraft and go somewhere else or do something else, it's not going to show anything else but your Minecraft. So we're just going to click done on this here and we're going to fit that one. Go to transform and fit to screen. And there we go. Now when you're in or not in full screen mode, it won't matter. You can change screens, you can move it over here, make it bigger. If you make it bigger, you may have to fit to screen. That might be an inconvenience, actually. I didn't have that problem with the, with the other way I was capturing it. Anyways, now that it's up over there, perfect. Now when you close the game down, it's going to show whatever you set for your image. So your image is going to show there, not your icons on your desktop. I just happen to have this background as my image as well. But you could put this here game loading or anything else that you want. And when you load up your Minecraft again, there you go. First thing your Minecraft loaded up, there it is. Now this is something you may have to fix. Um, I can't remember how to change it so that it always fits the screen. And if that's good for you, perfect. There's going to be a little bar at the top and bottom. If you leave the bar on Minecraft like this at the top and bottom, that's actually your start bar and your top bar that's blacked out in here because it's only capturing your game. If you do not want that, you can click your full screen mode. It should fix that problem. So if you click on your full screen and click it on, done. transform and fit to screen there we go now it fits perfect so there is a few things that you may have problems with if you change the screen size or anything but when you're tabbing in and out you can tab you can check your stuff you can look at your chat and you can tab back to your game without your background showing up and like I said I said an image in the background that's just only an added bonus when you're loading from game to game and the game closes down like if someone just quits then you have your picture come up. So if it says loading game or something custom, a shout out to hit the follow button, anything at all. You're, like I did my selfless plug here for my own ZN Solo 101. Check me out on Twitch or YouTube. Hit the subscribe, follow, thanks. And that's as easy as it is for Streamlabs. And OBS will be the same way. So I'm going to close that. Okay, we're going to load back up the game before we do this next one. It's the same thing with for OBS. You need to make sure that you load your game up before you try adding the source. If you try loading the game up while you're in the source, it actually may glitch a little bit. I had that problem. 
and I'll leave it just a normal size window instead of full screen for this here. Okay, once it shows up, it's the same thing. We're just going to go in here, click the plus, add an image, image for, so it seems to be a good trend, and select the same one and click open. This will be perfect. There we go. And it's the same thing again. We're just going to repeat the process, click the plus, go to game capture, click OK. We want to pick a specific window. We want to pick a specific window so it doesn't accidentally capture things we do not want captured. Again, we're just going to click that, go down to the Java, click OK. There it is. And it's going to be the size you make it. So if it's only this here size, it's only going to be that size. Okay, so when you're playing, keep that in mind. If you're playing smaller, you'll have to stretch the screen each time that you make it a different size. So you want to either be playing in a windowed mode or a fixed screen for, or full screen. And when it's like this here, you'll be able to be like this and you'll be able to tab without it capturing what you tabbed. And it's not fitting the screen right here because it's not full screen. I'll just do that for example. I'll go in here, change it back to full screen. This is how you'd want it so when you're tabbing out, it stays full screen. There's no black bars. And there you go. That's as easy as it is. Now you're capturing your, your game without capturing all the other junk. And again, if you close your game down and quit your game, it's only just going to show your image in the background. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So if you think I may have missed or left something out, definitely leave it in the in the comments below. If you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.